Lee, with the one night only, I'm unofficially declaring as the 51st state of America, and yes, I am your unelected governor, and that's Steve dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. If I'd have known it was a toga boy. <laughs> Tonight we're going to be chatting to all of the contestants, the judges, Lauren Laverne, John Barrowman, Lulu and James Corden. It is a celeb fest for you hungry viewers at home. But now let's go and chat to a man whose face I for one would like to see up on Mount Rushmore. It's Dermot Leary. How are you? How are you? Yeah, good. Did you enjoy the show? Oh, good quality tonight, wasn't it? Amazing quality. I think you can feel the semi-finals in the air, can't you? Absolutely. So, looking forward to seeing Britney later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Favourite Britney song? Oh, I like Toxic. Oh, me too. I've yeah. got a dance routine for Toxic. And I like the one, the slow one that goes... Dun, dun, dun. Sing it a bit louder, Dermot. Every time we do, 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 do. That one. What do you reckon? Next year's finalist, I'm thinking. Hello, <laughs> Leary, everybody. Right, now let's go chat to the four apples in the X Factor Eye. It's our judges. Round of applause for our judges. No. No. Right, first of all, I've got to ask you, uh, what did you think of Dermot O'Leary singing just then? Uh, appalling. appalling. Appalling, I thought you might but say he knows that. that. <laughs> OK, a big emotional night tonight. Lots of tears all round. Um, and the contestants. And <laughs> Simon. <laughs> <laughs> um, why do you think that was? What's going on tonight? Is it just that emotional semi-final sort of looming? Yeah, definitely. I think it's got to the stage now where everyone's so amazed and nobody feels safe anymore. Yeah. And, you know, there was two songs, so there was a lot of pressure. The first song, then the waiting and all of that. So I think they all did amazing, considering. There's carnage in the corridor. Carnage in the corridor? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, they're all lying down crying after the first songs. <laughs> did you, you have to go and scoop them all up? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> not me. <laughs> but they were. Um, it did seem like particularly some of the guys who struggled in their first song, such as JLS, then came back out and turned it around completely. Absolutely. Louis, do you think it was the choice of song the well, first time round? It's very hard for boys to sing Britney songs, Simon. Uh, does, I did you hear Simon singing in the shower a lot. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> anyway, but um, I heard how him sing you, it. How did you hear uh, that, Louis? That's what I wanted I heard him sing it, and he's dreadful <laughs> singing. I'm not singing for you. Um, when were you in the shower? I heard him next door. I was, I'm in the room oh! next door to him, so I hear right, him singing. Yeah, yeah, Louis, go on. But anyway, it was a very emotional night. Alexandra stole the show. Without a doubt, Alexandra stole the show. She was just She was absolutely. Her. And she deserves to be in the final. Love her, love her, love her. But JLS came back on their second they song, did. and I hope they get the vote. Now, there's been a lot of bickering about dancing, not dancing, performing. Um, there was this talk about Diana not going, bringing out dance routine, doing the same thing every week. What is that? You know, I thought that as an artist, what you're good at. I, I mean, agree. I'm I not agree. sure. Is this something? I agree. So I agree. if Madonna just stood there, or Britney just stood there, or Kylie, totally different they, to have the X Factor, you must be able to do everything. Not you must all. be able to move. You can't just stand there. Well, you wouldn't say, well, if that's the case, you could so, go to, say, Mariah Carey wouldn't dance, Whitney yeah. Houston wouldn't necessarily but they dance. Do, but they do. But they dance. don't, because they that's do. what they do. They right, sing, don't they? Do they sing. It's about performance, and you, the yeah. performance is what they give, you know, whether they're just walking off across the stage, working the audience. You've either got it or you well, don't. You imagine Louis managing Frank Sinatra. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm not sure Frank you know, my can way. do a bit of dancing. I do it my way, Simon. Oh, <laughs> no way. Well it's done. Um, Simon, you did mention tonight that you were, you kind of mentioned this thing again about if it was a competition for personality, blah, 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 then you'd get through, or that if it was just purely down to talent, then somebody like Alexandra would definitely get through. Are you worried? that we're going to see great singers going out again. Is that why you mentioned that? Well, we've already lost a great singer when we lost Laura because yeah. she had a rubbish song that week. Right. Um, but well, it was. That's why she went. She wasn't so. because she was a bad singer. Um, it's not. It's because you voted her off. Well, she was in the bottom two. You voted her off. She was in the bottom two. Okay. You don't vote people off if they're in the top two. She was... Just about <laughs> sums you up, doesn't no, it? Honestly, Holly, Childish. Um, just... you know, the point is, going back to your question, cool. um, I wanted to mention that about Alexander because sometimes it's easy to vote for just the popular people or to think that they're safe. Yeah. And I have to say, that performance tonight, and I've done a lot of these shows, was one of the great performances I've ever heard. From Alexander. Yeah. It was awesome. Well, listen, guys, good luck to all of you. You don't have to make any decisions tonight, so just enjoy it. The judges, everybody. Well, that's how they feel, but what about our final five? How did they feel the moment they stepped off that stage? Take a little look at this.
this was the most passionate and emotional performance I've given so far because I don't want to go home and I want to stay. <laughs> We're very, very grateful, you know, that Simon gave us, you know, better comments than the last time. You know, we dedicated the, the song to our mums, so hopefully it really came across that we really felt every, and meant every word. The judges said that I should be in the final, but it's not about what the judges think. It's all about what the public think, and I really hope they keep me in. So I'm really grateful, but man, please vote. <laughs> My first performance wasn't good at all. I knew it wasn't good. I could feel it in myself. But my second one, I knew I had to go out and I knew I had to go for it. And I did, and I'm just so happy. I would love to do it again and again. I'm just so upset because I was just so nervous and I just keep comparing myself to everyone in this competition, which, like, all the other girls, and it just are really, really getting me down. And I just, I'm so glad that I went up there and I enjoyed myself. I really, really did. And hopefully we'll see what happens. It's just loads of stuff being bottled up for ages, yeah, and I'm just pleased. Some interesting stuff there, but now I'm here with Evie and Brian. Um, big round of applause to you because you both had a fabulous night. Uh, Brian, you got congratulated on Owen's performance. Alexandra, you must have been so proud of her, right? No, I was. She had big shoes to fill, and it's scary because the shoes are backstage. <laughs> so I know she was totally scared, but she rocked it out. I was really proud of her and Owen. I mean, he was kind of, you know, stunted from that first performance. So I'm glad he came back strong and owned it. They certainly came back fighting. Now, the judges were all impressed with the vocal abilities tonight. Did you agree with them? Do you think they were as strong as what they were saying? Yeah, I think um, everyone struggled a little bit in the first song. And, so, and I knew, because obviously I knew what they had up the sleeve for the second performances. And some of those second performances were, as Simon said, outstanding. Um, from any year that we've seen, there were some really, really incredible ones. I was so proud of them. Tears down my face. I know, I was crying. My husband was crying. We were all crying upstairs. It wasn't emotional. Not even Simon, I think, was near to tears in one of those. I know, and that takes a lot, doesn't it? All right, well, listen, guys. Uh, Brian, we're going to be chatting to you later on, aren't we? So thanks very much, Evie and Brian. <laughs> right, it is now time for a break. But when we return, we're going to be chatting to the contestants, Lauren Laverne, Lulu, John Barrowman, James Corden, 